guys do way here. So today I'm going to be doing winter sewing and I have been uh, seeing these videos about people doing winter sewing and I really really wanted to try it for the last couple of years. So this is the year where I'm going to do it. So the reason I'm doing winter sewing this year because I think I will not have enough space to start seeds indoors. So I usually start seeds indoors in this room but this year I'm starting 100 dahlia tubers, so I think I'm not gonna have enough space for seeds. I will still have some seeds, but not as many as I would like to start indoors. So the idea behind winter sewing is to use plastic containers like this and uh, put soil in there and put seeds in there. So ultimately creating a little greenhouse and putting it in the outside for the winter. So the containers that you're looking for have to be translucent or transparent. And um, I love these type of containers because they're square. Anything that is square is actually light, um, space saving. So you can kind of stack them up next to each other and uh, they save a lot of space. So I am going to show you how uh, to create a little greenhouse with this container and then we're going to start sowing seeds. Okay, here we go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to cut this container in half, but before I do that, I am going to create drainage holes in these four corners of this container. And um, normally you can use box cutters or scissors, but this plastic is really thick. And I'm going to be using this knife that I have around the house. This is a pretty sharp knife. And I'm going to lay the bo uh, bottle down and have towel as kind of a traction so that if knife slips like it's gonna go into the towel be careful you know anytime you use sharp objects just use common sense so I'm gonna create drainage holes first We have our drainage holes. And then I'm going to cut this in half. But I am not going to cut it all the way. I am going to leave a little bit space where plastic still connects the top to the bottom, creating an opening like this. At this point, you can remove the cap. You will no longer need it. And um, I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Now, before we put seeds in this container, I just wanted to address what kind of seeds you can use for winter sowing. So I bought this lovely collection of seeds from Select Seeds. And I absolutely love this company. They are amazing with amazing directions in the back of the seed packet. I've been using them for 10 years and the seed quality is great too. So, what you're looking for in um, an annual, in this case we're gonna be sowing annuals, you can also winter sow perennials, but um, for annuals, what you're looking for is a hardy annual. There are annuals that are hardy and there are annuals that are tender. So, in the back of the seed packet, of a good seed packet, it will tell you whether they're hardy or not. So, for example, this Larkspur, um, it clearly says that it's a hardy annual, tolerates frost. On the other hand, this uh, Mexican sunflower is a tender annual and it does not tolerate frost. So you cannot winter sow this because it's, it, it's not frost uh, tolerant and it's just gonna die. Um, so I just want you to know before you put the seeds down what kind of seeds you can winter sow. Okay, so the next step is to fill this container with soil and I am using uh, seed starting soil. It's fluffier than your normal soil. Seeds need a lot of oxygen to start and to push through the soil has to be kind of light. All right, so you fill it with soil and you put it aside. So in this container, we'll be sewing a uh, larkspur, a uh, fancy blue-purple, gorgeous color. So you just open it, put some seeds in, 
and follow the directions on the back of the packet. This says that it has to be planted at, to the depth of one eighth of an inch, which means I have to use a little bit more soil and put it on top. And don't forget your label. These um, are the labels that I'm using. I will uh, post the label maker in the description down below. Just put a label inside and you close the container. After you close the container, you need to tape it shut. And you can use duct tape, or in this case, I'm using the clear Frost King tape. I uh, really like it because it is transparent as well, so I'm not sacrificing any light. I cut a little piece of tape just to hold the top and the bottom together. And then, eh, where's the end? There we go. Then I'll go ahead and I tape it all around. Pop the tape. And our greenhouse is done. The last step is to water it. And I'm going to use my sprayer. And I just put it inside. If you don't have a sprayer like this, you can water it before you close your container, but it's important that your soil is moist before you put it outside. I mean, eventually rain will get in this hole and snow will get in and um, your seeds will be moist, but it's really good to get them started by um, watering them really well. So the next step is to put your newly made greenhouses outside and um, I'm going to put them in a nice sunny location protected from any harsh winds or anything like that. So this is it for winter sowing. It was pretty simple and I can't wait to see my little seedlings grow. Um, I hope you try it and if you have any questions or comments, co uh, post them in the comment section below as per usual and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Hey, <laughs> hey, no. <laughs>